हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द मास इफेक्ट एंड बाइंडिंग एनर्जी एज वी नो ईच एटम कंसिस्ट ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स प्रोटॉन्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो द टोटल मास ऑफ द एटम शुड बी इक्वल टू द मास ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स प्रोटॉन्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बट एक्चुअली इट डज नॉट हैपन सो द एक्चुअल मास ऑफ एटम इज एक्चुअली लेस देन द सम ऑफ मास ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स प्रोटॉन्स एंड न्यूट्रॉन्स For example, in the case of oxygen, there are eight electrons, eight neutrons, and eight protons, and the total mass of these particles is sixteen point one three one AMU. That should be the mass of the oxygen atom, but the actual mass of atom is fifteen point nine nine four AMU. This difference in the total mass of particles and that of actual mass of atom is known as mass defect. it can be denoted by del f and it is equal to the sum of mass of particles minus actual mass of atom what happens to this mass this mass is lost as energy as it is denoted by the einstein's law of energy and mass and how this energy is used this energy is used in the formation of nucleus from the neutrons and protons so this energy binds the neutrons and protons together in the nucleus and hence it is known as binding energy and this binding energy is related to mass effect by this formula binding energy is equal to del m into 931.5 mev so greater the mass effect greater will be the binding energy and hence greater will be the stability of nucleus now there is another term that is known as binding energy per nucleon it means binding energy per nucleon and it is given by binding energy divided by the number of nucleons we will understand all these in the case of oxygen for oxygen the mass defect will be equal to the sum of mass of the particles minus the actual mass of atom and hence it will be equal to 0.137 amu and the binding energy will be equal to 0.137 into 931 and hence equal to 127.547 mev here the number of nucleons is 16 and hence the binding energy per nucleon will be divided by 16 and will become 7.97 mev the next term is packing fraction what is packing fraction as we know that the mass number is a whole number for each atom but the isotopic mass is a fractional number so the variation of isotopic mass from the whole mass number is denoted by packing fraction we can give the packing fraction by the following formula packing fraction is equal to isotopic mass minus mass number upon mass number into 10 raised to the power 4 from this formula we can know that if packing fraction is negative or it is zero valued the nucleus is stable but when packing fraction is positively valued the nucleus is found unstable so this is all about the nuclear stability in our next video we will study about the another terms of radioactivity thank you for watching this video